Hi there, this is video 2 of the Solving Equations video series. Today we're looking at solving two-step equations. Just recap on how we solve an equation. We're looking to move all the numbers away from the letter until the letter's on its own. So a solution might look like A equals 4 in the, in the end. So how do you move move anything and numbers away from the letter? Well, we have to do the opposite operation to both sides. I'm sure we'll get the hang of it. Okay, with two-step equations, here's an example. We are asked to solve 3n minus 6 equals 12. Now, there's quite a bit happening in this equation, so let's have a look at it carefully. We have a choice. There seems to be two numbers here that we need to move away from the letter on the left hand side. There's a 3 that's multiplying by the n and there's a 6 that's being subtracted from the n. So we need to decide, we need to have a method uh, whereby we decide which number to move first in our two-step equations. So uh, because uh, things have happened to the n we consider we have to, um, when we solve equations, we consider ourselves to be working backwards. Normally the order of operations says you do multiplies and divides before you do pluses and minuses. But we're really retracing our steps to solve an equation. And so we're working backwards. Now this usually means, not always, but usually means that we move any plus or minus numbers before we move any multiply or divide numbers. So we'll look to move the, any addition or subtraction numbers first in two-step equations most of the time. So which number do we move first? We've just got through saying that uh, we want to move any plus or minus numbers first. So let's move that uh, minus 6 first. Now that principle that we have up the top here, we move numbers by doing the opposite operation to both sides. We need to ask ourselves, what's the opposite of a minus 6? Opposite of a minus 6 is a plus 6. So we'll do that plus 6 both sides. On that left hand side, the minus 6 and the plus 6 will cancel each other out, leaving us on the left hand side with just the, the 3n. On the right hand side, we just did that calculation, 12 plus 6 equals 18. So this is a two-step equation. This, that's the first step. We've moved one of the numbers away from the letter. Now we've got to move the next number away from the letter. There's only one number annoying the letter at the moment now, uh, and that's the 3. Now we consider that 3 to be multiplying by the n because they're sitting beside each other. There's an invisible multiply, remember, considered to be between the 3 and the n. So then we ask ourselves, what's the opposite of a, of a multiply by 3? Well, we need to divide by 3. And we need to do that on both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, uh, 3 multiplying and 3 dividing will cancel each other out, leaving us nicely with just the letter on its own on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we do that calculation. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So we've moved a total of two numbers away from the letter. We've moved the minus 6 first by doing a plus 6 to both sides of the equation. And then in the second step here, we've, uh, we've moved a 3 that's multiplying by dividing by 3 both sides. So we've got a bit of a pattern happening here. Next example is we have a, a over 3. Now that's a divided by 3. And we also have a 7 that's adding and that's supposed to equal 11. So let's consider which number we have to move first. Obviously there's two numbers on the left hand side that need to be moved away from the A. Now because we're moving backwards, remember, uh, working backwards um, to solve equations, we're going to uh, move the plus or minus number. In this case the plus 7 we're going to move first. How do we move them? How, how do we move a plus 7? We want to do the opposite of a plus 7 which is a minus 7. So we're going to subtract 7 both sides. You can see on that left hand side that a plus 7 and a minus 7 will cancel each other out leaving us with just that a over 3 on that left hand side. Then we have uh, 11 on the right hand side take away 7 leaving us with 4. So that's our first step. We've uh, moved the plus 7 by doing the opposite to both sides. 
which number do we need, need to move next? Well, we want the letter on its own, so we'll have to move that 3 that's on the bottom of the fraction there. That 3 is uh, dividing by 3, so the bottom of any fraction is considered to be dividing into the top. So uh, what's the opposite of a divide by 3? It's a multiply by 3. We're going to multiply by 3 both sides. Once again, on the left-hand side, a divide by 3 and a multiply by 3 will cancel each other out leaving us nicely with uh, the letter on its own, which is what uh, solving equations is all about. On the right-hand side, we just do the calculation 4 times 3 equals 12. Okay, there are two-step equations there. We've uh, got a system of deciding what we should do first, which number we should move first, and then um, we just do it to uh, two movements of numbers to, to finally end up with the letter on its own. So I hope that helps. There's the rules up the top and you can look at these videos as many times as you like until they sink in. Thanks for your time. See you next time.